walk on everybody today it's not a kitchen we're outside this is farm corner we're not here for the cars we're here for the food so you have the curry beef yeah man oh, yeah. what kind of soup this chicken foot soup beef and a rice and beef here you just have sweat the rice down the come more fried chicken going on Wow, the scissor, barbecue, pork ribs, and barbecue chicken. But we have to enjoy some of the care of Now this is a place on a farm where they're having drifting. It's like a gym kind of vibe that used to happen. But we're here for the food. They also have a cow farm on it. So I hear them have beef ribs, pork ribs, all sorts of ribs, barbecue. I'll go check out. behind me them have a kitchen and it's a coal fire going with just wood and stuff like that you can see the pots and everything on it the smell is amazing the smell of the barbecue coming up they don't have barbecue ribs pork, something there is but them have pork ribs them have barbecue chicken curry beef all sorts of things even soup and thing that them have out there so the kitchen have the wood fire smell when people working cutting up salads cutting up all sorts of things but that smell just intoxicating when we we're driving over we saw some smoke on the hill and we're wondering if it was that and it definitely was it holy for logwood under the stove under the pot and then you have curry beef you have stew pork you have barbecue pork ribs and barbecue chicken so you have the curry oh, beef yeah man oh, yeah. wow look at the color on that the smell that's fresh beef from the farm right here yes man right here right here and you have the soup here what kind of soup is from? Chicken foot soup. Chicken foot yeah. with beef in there? No, this one is the beef. Beef over here. Oh, so yeah, this is chicken just chicken foot. foot. Yeah. Right, it's a bubble and... Beef and pea soup. Pe beef and peas? Yeah. Beef and red pea soup. It's such food right now. That look like everybody starting another one there already though. <laughs> How long are you cooking are going for? From morning? From morning. Early yeah, morning. morning man. From 4 o'clock this morning? Yeah, I'm going to ask you what time for power, you know? We have the rice and peas here. You just have to sweat the rice down the comore. Yeah. Keep going steam. Wow, smell the coconut milk in here. Yeah, the man. flavor. I smell like natural coconut milk. And fried chicken going on as well. Uh, this one now is the first one the fish. Right, until you have the fish are soaked yeah. down in there. What type of fish? Even a scotch bonnet pepper. Yeah, fish and hot brown crackers. Steam down and nice. Yeah. yeah, man, the sauce looks really rich and flavorful, especially with that scotch bonnet in there. Green scotch bonnet yeah. for flavor. <laughs> yeah, man. Not too high, now kill them yeah. with the pepper. Yeah, man, for real. This is pork chops. So, this is yeah. grilled pork chops that yeah. seasoned down. Barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken as well. This is a vegetable. And veg. Yeah. Wow, the scissor, the color. Yeah, man. Many of you look amazing, chef. And more rice and peas. Two big pot of rice and peas. And one gone already, and we just started. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Give thanks, you know, Chef. Big yeah, up yourself as always, man. Maximum respect. Yeah, man. Every time. All right. You can see in the kitchen is just a full activity going on. They're extremely active in there. There's stuff still going on the fire. Even though they have some in warmers, the food's still coming fresh off of the fire. The logwood is out there and the smell's going into the pot. The smell of that curry beef, I can't wait to try that. That is something that I don't think we've had on here, but the color looks so rich, so nice, and so inviting. If this beef, this beef. So we're actually on a beef farm. You can taste the freshness. Of how fresh the beef is, how tender it is. The green just dissipates when you're chewing it up. It's so flavorful with that hint of the curry. The curry is not over point. You're still getting that beef flavor, that fresh beef flavor. Come on, we're out here. Come get curry beef. Mm. I mean, it literally falls off for the bone. I am beef. Come on. Very nice for the curry. I forgot to mix that up with the rice. This are the pork. Pork chops, not pork ribs. Let it be known. Pork chops. We're heading for it. We have to see if it's a chop. Yeah, man. Well, let's see. <laughs> All right. So this is the pork chops now. So I have the pork master have to check out the pork chops when we come on. Well, um, let's see. We're not even going to wait, man. Not not wait. All right. No problem. And then my barbecue sauce under it after. So nice char on it. Smell good. See if it tastes like it smells. All right. So you're going to try it without the barbecue mm -hmm. sauce first. All right. So. First thing there's barbecue sauce on it, so that's why it have that char. All of that char is from the sugars caramelizing on the grill that give it that. So it's very sweet already. Tender as well. Very tender. Nice char, mm -hmm. not a lot of spice. Very plain, but still has that pork flavor they're looking for, oh you man. know? Because it's pork chops, so it's really grilled pork chops, not a lot of seasoning. But let, nice and flavorful. Let the Just flame, the smoke and the yeah. fire do the work. That will bring out and enhance the flavors of the pork chop. So that's what they do with it. With a light coat right on it, a barbecue sauce. But hear that? Barbecue yeah, sauce. I'm trying to know. <laughs> Mother on that barbecue sauce. Dripping. Boy. <laughs> yeah, man. And then one thing in Jamaica, we love the pork fat. Mm -hmm. One of the sweetest parts. That carry the juice. Mm -hmm. Really good. All right, that's just a house barbecue, not even house, bottle barbecue sauce that you put on it. Take away from the flavor of the pork. Just smother it on, you get the barbecue sauce flavor. I think I prefer it without the barbecue me, sauce. Me as well. Just the little char marks on it. All right, I'm going to charge you all. All right, I'm going to charge you all. I'm going to charge you all. pork, but. Jiggle, 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 wiggle, wiggle with it. This is the pork pot, not the sweetest part of the pork.
pieces of pork ribs, of barbecue pork ribs. And you open it up. It smells amazing. The barbecue sauce is just smothered on. It's not just doused or cooked on it like right before. But look at the sheer size. I can't even lift it properly. Look at the size of that rib. How huge that is. The sheer meat and veracity on that bone. Hope it's tender. Hope it's sweet. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Tender, soft, juicy, pork flavor. The grain is there, but you bite right into it and your teeth marks go straight through. That's how you know it's perfectly cooked. You're getting a nice smoke flavor on it. The hint of the barbecue sauce is not overpowering, but it really have a nice little vibe going on with it. Mm. All the meat is so fresh. Eating on a farm, the meat itself, once you get that, you can tell that it's fresh meat, fresh kill meat. Not a lot of time in the freezer. Pork ribs. You realize the difference now with the ribs now, you don't have as much char as the pork chops. No, have. and the sauce is different. Yeah, this barbecue sauce on it. Let's see what happens. Want a rib, you know, no rib chip. No, no riblet. The riblet. Okay. Very soft, very tender. Very, very tender. Mm. Almost melt away in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Come on. Very pronounced barbecue sauce again. Hence, really barbecue ribs. ribs. The flavor that you're looking for, you're getting out of it because it's poor. Very juicy. Very, very juicy. Look at the size of it. I told you I took a bite out, and the teeth mark is literally out of it. Look at the thickness of it. Mm. Bite straight through. Right down to the bone, I'm perfectly off of the bone. Very nice cooked rib. The sauce, though, this isn't like the sauce that was on the pork chops. This is a sweet barbecue sauce that's a lot thinner and then based on after the pork is cooked. Mm. Come on, this is winning.